Hey Aquarius, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we're going to do your mid-December general quick read. Now, keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader. Which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of Crystal Organite Pucks. and doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone's doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Bag Lady by Erica Badu. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below following the reading. So you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Um, the message that I'm picking up with this is some of you guys may be carrying someone else's burdens. You know, you're taking on their energy. And I'm just going to have to be very blunt and say this. You need to allow these people to deal with their own problems. Okay. I'm hearing a, a very strong enabler energy. So be careful about that because I feel like you're wanting to help someone because you see how overwhelmed they are. That now it's becoming your burden. And now you're needing some type of rest and reprieve and retreat from the situation. Something that wasn't initially yours is what I'm picking up, okay? So the way I'm going to do the quick reads from this point on is literally we're going to deal with the energy of your major arcana. So for you guys, your major arcana will be the star card, okay? So the card that comes before and after the star card is the energy that I'm meant to read for you all. As always, the decks are completely upright. There are no reversals. Mm -hmm. And you guys just seen it, right? I've seen that seven of swords lie at you to manipulate a sneak. Somebody is like dumping on you. Be, be careful about that because I am picking it up and I picked it up in the very beginning, okay? Um, all the cards are completely up, right? And that's in both decks, okay? For your clarifying deck, we will shuffle them to where there can be reversals. But in your main energy deck, all the cards will be upright, okay? So I'm going to give you guys an example. Here, let's find us a major arcana. There you go. So this is Major Arcana, the Hermit. That's Major Arcana for Virgo. So whatever card is in front of it, the Magician, and then the next card, the Two of Cups. If I was reading for Virgo, this would be the cards that I would be reading for this sign. Okay? Do you guys get what I'm saying? I think you guys got it. Okay? So I'm going to shuffle one time just so you guys can see on camera that I definitely shuffle the cards. Okay? And then let's find your card, the star card. And I know this may seem a little tedious, but I actually like this because in case you all are not aware, Major Arcana in Tarot is heightened vibration. It's very high spiritual vibration. All Major Arcanas is very heightened spiritual energy. And so I like it because it's putting you on a platform to be in your highest vibration. So I like that very much. So let's find you guys card. There you go. Okay. So here you are with the star card. The card in front of it is the nine of pentacles and the one directly behind it. Ooh, I like it. The ace of swords. <laughs> you guys energy. Wow. Okay. So look here. Wow. Okay. So remember I heard the song bag lady. It's like she's surrounded by pentacles. Like she has a lot going on, but you, you know, she, she describes, she disguises herself and she deals with it. Well, he or she, it doesn't matter. Right. There could be something with a third party that you're going to find out about because the Ace of Swords is truth, clarity, wisdom, knowledge, and also victory. But I feel like, you know, you're definitely going to find something out. And I like this because you are swords. So whatever the case, you're going to be victorious. Also, for some of you all, this, whatever you find out with the Ace of Swords may make you single. Okay? Because the Nine of Pentacles is a single woman, single man card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fellow air sign, another Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. And then for others, you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces. I'm sorry to, um... Toward Virgo Capricorn with Earth signs. Some of you guys can be dealing with Cancer Pisces Scorpio because I wanted to say it. And we all know there's no such thing as accidents. So let's see what we get for you guys today. We are going to get a clarifier for the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, there's some type of blockages. Some type of, and I said this, right? Okay, here's the thing. Right in front of her, she's facing the direction of Three Pentacles, right? And then right here, there's a third party looking on, and where the third party is, is one, two, three pentacles, okay? So I feel like if you confront this person about a third party situation, they're going to be defensive, aggressive. Um, It could be involved in a fire sign, Leo, Sage, Aries also. Some type of 
truth is getting, getting ready to be exposed. I, I know that for sure with the Ace of Swords. Some type of truth is getting ready to be exposed. And I feel like because of this truth, you're going to be single. Also, some of you all could already be single and, it, and you could have separated from someone in September because you do have nine here. You're finding out some truths. You could have been, look at this. Ooh. And as I say, find out some truths. Look at that twice. Yeah, I, I can't make this up. Some of you guys are definitely find out some type of truth. You're, but you're going to be victorious in the situation. Yeah. Some, there was definitely a separation because now you have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You found out the truth about a situation and you left a, you left a situation. I can't make this up. Ten of Pentacles is leaving a marriage, leaving a long-term relationship and becoming single. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Some of you guys left a situation because you found out the truth about something. But you know what? Something positive is coming towards you, though. I'm picking that up also. Something, look at that. Yeah. This could be someone that you were definitely married to. Um, I feel like you may not want to hear this person's plea. I feel like this person is telling you that they want to connect with you. Aries right here with the emperor. You guys always know on my channel, the emperor is never, anytime you see the emperor, the empress is never too far behind. Okay. Cause that's a divine counterpart, a life partner, a spouse, someone that you have a long-term commitment with. And like I said, this person's going to come back and you're not going to be very interested and reconcile with this person they could feel like a burden yeah here's your card <laughs> you have your back facing this person the star card okay and this is the major kind of that we're reading for for your energy so i feel like you've turned your back on this person because you feel like they're shady anytime you have a king or queen and that would be an emperor in reverse that's someone who's taking advantage of their power taking advantage of their position abusing their position in people's life and in, in, in situations and you've seen them for what they are you've seen the truth about these individuals or this individual. For you all, I feel this is strongly involving love for sure. Okay. Yeah. And like I said, you're you're gonna become victorious. Healing, you know, because the star card is about wish fulfillment and healing. You guys are healing, going down a path where you're not too much worried about. I feel like there's some residual thinking about it because you see how she's facing the three of pentacles. But she's still standing in her power. Look how elegant she looks. Very pleased. Very powerful. Graceful. That's how you all are showing outwardly. But I do have to point out, if you look over her head, there's storm clouds. So you're thinking, and there's even a bird on her head. So she, you know, you could be thinking a lot. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I just heard cuckoo, cuckoo bird. So some of you guys could be feeling like you're going a little crazy or this situation made you feel crazy. But you're coming out of it victoriously. Healing, a lot of healing, especially with the water, you know. You're becoming grounded because you have one feet in one foot in water and one knee on land, feet on land, half of you in land, which means you're becoming grounded. Okay. Also nurturing yourself because this vase is watering this grass. So you're nurturing yourself a lot more. So let's get a clarifier for the nine of pentacles. Also, some of you all can have strong earth sign placements in your chart. Cancer Pisces. I mean, I keep wanting to say Cancer Pisces and Scorpio. So some of you all can have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in your chart, or you could have been dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Uh-huh. But I, I, some of you all have Earth placements in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm here strong Capricorn for someone. Okay. You get two cards with that automatically. Okay. And they both came out all right. Yeah. And remember I kept saying that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you have Taurus right here. With the hair font. And the hair font is the spouse to the high priestess. So I'm going to tell you right now, definitely, this is someone that you were either married to or engaged to and you found out some truth about. Didn't I say something about a third party? Okay. You have three pinnacles. She's facing those. And then you have one, two, three people here. Okay. You could be dealing with a May Taurus for some of you all. And I feel like this person tried to make you an option, okay? Because you have the nine of pentacles and look at her. She's facing the direction of seven of cups. And that's, that's why I kept getting these cups. Look at this. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a water sign or, or because I kept saying it sporadically, this third party was a water sign. Because if you look at it, this is a watery card. This is cups. And then you have a person and they're hidden up under the sheet. So the person, the third party could have been a water sign. That's why I kept getting water. So the third party I'm strongly feeling like was a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio for sure. And when you found out about them, cause she's looking right in the direction. So she found out when you found out about them, you became single, nine of pentacles, single woman, single man. Okay. Um, also, you have the ace of swords, truth and clarity. You found something out. 
And then you have it being clarified by Major Arcana of the hair font. So again, I'm going to say some of you guys, this person could have been a Taurus. But more than anything, the hair font is always a spouse. Okay. So what I'm picking up is that this person could have, again, even if you weren't married to this person, you could have engaged this person or with this person so long, it felt as though it was a marriage. Right. And this could also, in this scenario, be a judge presiding over some type of, um, because I'm hearing severing ties, severing swords, severing ties and assets. What's interesting also is you have a sword right here in the middle and you have these two birds on the side and then you have this person of leadership right here and they have two people on the side. So yeah, either way it goes, the third party could have possibly definitely been a water sign. And then also the third party in the end of the situation could be a attorney, a lawyer, a judge, you know, some type of mediation because this person is mediated situation and is going to help you cut this situation off. I'm hearing something about assets. Like if you and this person have property together, some type of accounts together, I feel like you're going to be victorious and you're going to get things are going to go in your favor is what I'm picking up with that for sure. Because this is definitely a card of victory and it's definitely a card of some truth coming in. Okay. You're, you're finding out, you either found out already or you're finding out about a third party. I feel like for a great deal of you all, you already found out because you have a single woman, single man. Which means this is something that's already taking place. You found out about some type of tomfoolery is what I'm hearing. Also, some of you all could be <laughs> dealing with someone named Thomas. Thomas, Tommy. I'm hearing Forless. F-O-R-L-I-S, Forless. Is what I just heard. I don't know what that is, but that may resonate with someone. Forless. It could be Forless County. Forless Street. A company named Forless, I'm hearing. <laughs> and then I'm also hearing it's like somebody just gave themselves away for less. Like somebody literally just, basically this person is for the streets and that's why you're getting a divorce. Because this could, I'm definitely feeling like this is some type of divorce also for some of you all. That's what I'm picking up. <laughs> okay Aquarius Sun, Rise and Venus individuals as always I'm going to ask that you continue to like share and subscribe and until next time take care bye